In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crack a WPA handshake. Now, I'm going to assume you already have the handshake, your capture file, and I'm also going to assume you're running on Windows. Now, you can do this on Linux, and it's actually really easy with some built-in tools, but you need to make sure you have your proper video drivers installed, and that is a very long video for another time. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend doing this on Windows. So, first thing you're going to need to do is download a couple programs. Open up your browser of choice, and you're going to need something called Hashcat. So you can either Google this or just go straight to the website. It's hashcat.net-hashcat. You're going to go up here to Hashcat Binaries, and click on version 3.5.4. Now go ahead and save this. I'm just going to save everything to the desktop. And just to make this easier on us, we're going to use Hashcat GUI. So again, either Google or just go to hashkiller.co.uk-hashcatgui.aspx. Click this first link here. And again, I'm going to save this to the desktop. Now lastly, you're going to need a word list. So you can just go to, say, Google and type in WPA word list. Now as you can see there's a bunch of results here. This is one I personally use, this second result here from Hack5. It's going to take you to a couple links here. These links are outdated, so just right click, copy link location, paste this up here and replace this with the actual Pirate Bay. And if you're just doing this by hand, you don't actually need this last part. So just go ahead, click that magnet link, download the file, or whatever other file you decide to download. I just use this one because it's got a whole ton of passwords on it. It might take a really long time to go through them all, but it will probably crack your password no matter what. Okay, so now we have our handshake file, we have hashcat, and we have hashcat GUI. Now I'm going to go ahead and unzip these into their own folders. Okay, so now we need to open up the Hashcat GUI and move into the Hashcat Utilities folder. Now let's open up this other one here, the normal Hashcat 3.5.0. I'm just going to copy all of this into this folder. Now, once we open Hashcat, it's going to ask us for a hash file. Now, Hashcat doesn't work with .capture files as they are, so first we need to go over here back into the normal folder. And you see this convert cap hcap file? We're just going to take our handshake, put it in this folder, and double click on that. And as you can see, that's done. It's going to give you some information here whatever your ESSID is, BSSID, and that's usually the only thing you need out of this. And so now we have our original file, and we have hccap, which is just hashcat capture. Go back here and click the three little dots, and we're going to go to our new file we just created, the handshake.hccap, and open that. Now as you can see, it already knows that this is a WPA file, so if not, just scroll all the way to the bottom here and click WPA. Make sure your mode is set to straight, because we are just doing a normal dictionary attack. Down on output, you're going to want to make sure you know where this is, because this is where it's going to save your found passwords. And for binary, you're going to make sure that this is on your Hashcat64. If not, just click these three dots here. Go to your Hashcat GUI folder, Hashcat Utilities, change this over here to Applications, and scroll down to Hashcat 64, or 32 if you're on a 32-bit device. So next we need to add our word list. So at the top, let's click on Word List, click on Add Word List, and just go to wherever the one is you downloaded. 
So as you can see, I have four lists here. This one and this one are part of that original torrent I showed you, and these two are just some other ones I have for non-wireless passwords. So I'm just going to add all of these. And since only two of them are for WPA passwords, I'm going to move both of those up to the top. You want to use your shortest passwords first. Like if you have a list of the top 100 passwords, the top 500 passwords like that, you're going to want 100 on top, 500 below, and then all your other ones. This isn't required, but it will speed up the process a lot because it's a higher chance of finding the password first. So after you've added those, go back over here to Hashcat and just click this little button over here. Well, I say little, it's actually the biggest button on here. And for me, it says I'm a hash killer. It might say seek and destroy. It might say reverse engineer. It changes every time you open it, so just click whatever button's right in this location. Okay, so I just went to get some food. By the time I got back to my desk, this was done. Look over here, it says status cracked, that means it finished. If this says exhausted, that means it went through all of your password files and it wasn't in there, which means you're dealing with a really tough, really secure password. Again, hash target, Teddy, recovered one out of one. That's good, we have our password. So now what we need to do is go back to our hashcat folder. As you can see, we have handshake underscore found, 2500. The 2500 just refers to what type of attack it is. 2500 is WPA, which is what this is. So basically we just open this, we have the hash, all that information. We have the ESS ID, just the name of the router. And more importantly, right here we have the password. So this one is just 4444 5555. Okay, so let's pretend you accidentally deleted that file. As you can see, it's not here. You look in your recycle bin, it's gone. Oh no, what are you going to do? Well, if we go up here to the Hashcat Utilities folder, and we scroll down to hashcat.pot file, we can go ahead and open that. And as you can see, it's going to have a list of everything you've cracked. So we have Teddy444555. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or you have any requests for future videos, feel free to put those in the comments, email me, however you want to get in touch with me. I'll do my best to get to those. So I'll see you later.